So much has been made about this convention looking very different from years past because it is virtual. Also, there is the diversity on stage, the pandemic that is something we're all living with. Our Nine News political experts, Democrat James Mejia and Republican Kelly Maher join us now. And we're gonna try and get some perspective on tonight and deal with the delay that we're living with in this world. Um, Kelly, I'm gonna ask you, um, it seemed as if President Obama really went after the fact that he believes cynicism, conspiracy theories, all of that out there is threatening our democracy. Was that effective? And do you think that made a difference? Look, I think that President Obama gives a great speech. There's no question about it. And tonight, the indication that I got was that he is attempting to turn back on the organizing or Obama OFA machine which has been largely touted as one of the best organizing machines. I think the question is, at this point, it took the Obamas quite a while to come to the table for Joe Biden, whether or not that is going to read as, as powerful as it would if he had been an early supporter of Biden's. Uh, James, I'm going to ask you a little bit about that. Also, Kamala Harris, uh, she made the point tonight saying that she believes that our country is in a state of chaos, that, that genuinely people are afraid right now. What are your thoughts on that? Do you think that worked? Did that play right? You know, I, I think it did resound uh, very loudly and very clearly. Um, it, it first started with Obama with regard to not only giving a good speech, but giving vision and giving hope once again. Um, and Harris, uh, Kamala Harris brought the same kind of, of, of vision and hope. That is a theme. Tonight we saw the two best speakers from the Democratic Party, the, the two individuals who are best prepared and have the uh, the most well-formed vision for the future of, of our party and our country. And, and I thought uh, the vice presidential nominee um, gave us vision, gave us hope. I think she was an outstanding choice, and that was proven tonight. And Kelly's point, do you think President Obama was a little too late to the table to support his former vice president? I, I think that the speech tonight was very good, but as President Obama said himself, there's only uh, under 80 days left until the election. And uh, Kamala Harris's speech also was good, but it speaks to the fact that there are a, a large section of those on the left side of the Democratic Party who are concerned that she may not play exactly to what they're looking for, which is why I think that we saw her make some of the points that is, are trying to build cred with the far left. Mm -hmm. And when we talk about this, James, it was interesting. Uh, Elizabeth Warren came in after Hillary Clinton. They are trying to reach different sides. What about President Trump? Can he still um, get a chance in Colorado? We're, you know, of course, across the country, as he is saying that President Obama is the reason he got elected. So what about Colorado specifically? Colorado will, will never go for Trump at, at this point. Um, you know, when, when you have a party that has come from divided places, as Kelly has pointed out, and become as unified under this Biden-Harris ticket, that's not a negative thing. That's a good thing to have vetted others and to come together as a party. And now, you know, on, on the stage tonight, you saw all parts of the party. Uh, we're, the, the party has a big umbrella. And, and I think the message tonight was this party has room for everyone. And I, I thought they brought in the, the immigration um, issue, um, both with, with speaking Spanish for one of the first times ever at a, at, a, at a national convention for either party. And then with Harris's own story, um, I, th I thought that resounds. And, and in a place like Colorado, uh, there, there's room for Coloradans in this party. OK, we'll give Kelly a chance to say that next week during the Republican convention. <laughs> Thanks for dealing with all the delays here, James and Kelly. And we, we love talking to you, even with the fact that we do it all virtually. We appreciate your expertise. Thank you.